your girl boss lady from drjays.com. I'm here with comedian Chris Clark. Yeah. Was... And we are covering the red carpet of the 14th annual Urban World Film Festival. Yep. Are you happy to be here? You excited? I am happy to be here. I heard here. Kerry Washington's going to be Kerry, here. I'm about to riot because Kerry Washington. Wow. And I'm I knock somebody out. Jamie somebody Hector. Touch and, oh, really? Yeah. Well, don't you go touching her because, you know, this is your first time on camera with me, so don't yeah. get me in trouble. No, I'm not, not going to touch her. I said, anybody touch her, I'm going to oh. knock them out. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, we'll see what happens. Check it out. Night Catches Us, big premiere. Uh, what made you support and, and get behind making this movie come to fruition? So this film came uh, to me through Sundance. Sundance has an institute, a lab that they support uh, projects out of, and they gave me the script six years ago, almost six years ago. Uh, it's probably one of the best scripts I've read um, in my whole time of producing. It's a complicated story about the Black Panther mov movement told in a way that probably will surprise people. Like I think it's a very traditional way that it, that the Black Panther movement might have been told, and uh, it's either told like from the left yeah. or the right. This yeah. is very much in the middle. Very much about um, the complicated stories of the people who were involved and uh, the losses they went through and the struggles they had to overcome. And and it's not an overtly political movie, shockingly for for this topic. Right. Um, and so. Um, I think that's what I found so fascinating about it. Do you think enough of these films are made? Absolutely not under no circumstances are enough of these films being made. That's the unfortunate part of this. You know, I, mean, I it, it took um, it, it took our director 10 years to get this movie made. I mean, it was part wow. of the Sundance Lab, uh, Sundance Lab 10 years, 11 years ago now. You know wow. what I mean? Um, I think partially because people were afraid of the subject matter that it, yeah. it looks at or addresses you know, yeah. the Black Power, Black Panther movement, um, or at least the waning days of it. And, and so I think that people were really nervous about approaching this subject matter. Yeah. And although the film is not specifically about that, um, it is the lens through which we look at the lives of our characters, you know, yeah. like with Anthony yeah. Mackie and, and, and Kerry Washington. Yeah. So, yes, um, I would love to see more films being made um, of this ilk by more African American filmmakers. The industry is in a challenging position, and yeah. it's particularly challenging, therefore, for people of color. Yeah. Sundance sort of brought us together, okay. Okay. kind of, you know, like sort of a wonderful matchmaking machine, and uh, and so then they brought us together, and then together we went out and kind yeah. of, you know, over like this sort of five-year period, tried to. He, he mentioned it was actually written like a couple of years ago, about he said about ten years. It was years? written in '99, wow. and I was here at this festival in '99, where it won Best Screen. Wow. Really? So this is like a dream come true, just yeah, it's wow. Nice. It's a place yeah. to come back. It's like a full circle. Yeah, thing. yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 full circle, yeah, which is nice. Definitely. You're a co-producer here, and you have a role in the movie. That's right. What's your role in the movie? Um, I play Carrie Ford, which is uh, the lead lady's, uh, Carrie Washington's love, first love interest when the film begins. Yeah, yeah, cool. Carrie Washington right here behind you. Yeah, all right. Yes, that would be the very Carrie. Oh, and you're the first love interest well, in the movie. Yeah, what can I say? Yeah. I actually got to kiss Carrie in the film. Oh. Don't go my man. He's just saying you know? how he enjoyed your kiss in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and look at Chris right now. He's like, oh, uh, yeah. You know, yeah he's I'm about to, on I'm you. about to drive. I got the hell you get. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's an amazing talent. Such yeah. a sweetheart. I mean, yes, I mean just a really giving person and incredibly professional and talented. You yeah, know, to yeah. find all three of those yeah, in one person one, yeah, is, yeah. is an amazing thing. Yeah. All right, fellas. So like, pick your mouths up off the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're actually much finer in person, I, I must say. No. You know, you don't be a hater like, nah, he's, yeah. 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 No, but Marlo was all rugged in that. And now no, I'm man. like, oh, Jamie's got a no, nice, peaceful know, vibe about him. Is equivalent to busted? No. Is that what you said? Finer, no. you're like smoother <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what role do you play in this film? How would you describe your character? Do right, Miller, I'm a Black Panther. And we know that you, but being of Haitian background, mm -hmm. You're obviously very, you're, you're very strong when it comes to causes. We did an event with drjays.com, a Shop for Haiti event actually, yeah. where we got all these fashion brands that we sell, mm -hmm. raise money. Are you still continuing your efforts also? Oh, I'm definitely continuing my efforts. I'm continuing here in New York also yeah. because there's so many Haitians that are over here also. I have an organization in yeah. Brooklyn called movingmountainsnyc.org. You can check Word. for it online and then you'll see the efforts Word. that we're actually putting together for those that are here. Yeah that are not only Haitian, but you know, all around the world also. Yeah. 
<laughs> yo, what's it? Well, yo, what's it like? I know you get it on the street, man. People see you. They, you get it on the street. People see you. Be like, what up? What up, Marlo? What's going on? You know you like the hood legend. You know what I mean? You like the hood legend, brother. Cool, cool. Just from the wire, man. Wow. I just, I just peeped. Um, just another day. Right. I didn't know that you was Haitian when you started speaking. I was like, oh, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. You got Nick those skills on the mic too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got those skills. You know what I mean. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I do what works, but I respect the craft so much. I leave it to those that do. After night catches us. Man. What have you got coming up next? Well, lie to me on Fox, okay. as well as a play that I've directed in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Museum okay. called A New Day. Okay. The root cake. And, uh, called the New Day. It's oh, a the New Day. Okay. Wait, who can? <laughs> know, who can? Well, all Haitians gonna hang together? <laughs> really? Who can? I salute that brother too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you feeling? I am feeling yeah. great. Loving to be here at the Urban World Film Festival. Just seeing all these beautiful, hardworking people. And yeah. tonight, um, to get to see this film is gonna be fun. I can't wait to see my mic sounds nice. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait to see that. So, um, just here, and I'm actually hosting the brunch on Sunday. So. Bree, when are you gonna get back on the mic? What? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's interesting in booth, you baby. ask that question. Yeah. Um, well, this year we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of 106 in Park. So on October 5th is a special on BET and yeah. on the 6th. I'm creative producer for those shows as well. Mm -hmm. And um, there's gonna be something released that day is all I can pretty much say. And um, log on to freezeworld.com and you'll find a little bit more about right. it. But I'm yeah. definitely getting back to work and, and getting things going. So I'm feeling good. Thank She's you. looking good, right? I'm yeah, loving I'm the hair. Looking all fine, you go, girl. <laughs> Killing them. Thank you, y'all crazy. Who's this fine looking gentleman? Introduce yourself to DrJays.com. I'm Lawrence St. Victor. Oh. Hi, Lawrence. And what are you doing tonight? What are you here for? Well, tonight I'm watching this film celebrating with these guys, but I have a short film in a film festival called The Forgiving. Okay. So, yeah. Director, producer. Director, producer, writer, all the above. Wow. Oh, congratulations, yeah. good yeah, brother. Thank you, word, man. Man. thank you, brother. What is it about? It's about a guy who has to make a decision to kill somebody. His employer tells him to kill somebody, but if he doesn't kill him, he gets killed he himself. Kill himself. Yeah. So it's like, does he have the heart to go through it or not? Yeah. And I can't say too much because it's a short. And it's yeah. like, if you give too much away, yeah, you yeah, ruin the yeah, whole yeah, film. Yeah, but yeah. that's pretty much the premise. Are you in it as well? You yeah, I'm, I'm the guy that has to make the decision. Make the decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's tough. This is a one man, like, you know forget that Swiss Beats. This is the one man band, you know what man, right? You got everything, on, you right? You got to do what you got to do. Well, yeah. If you're not from New York, you may not know what Platanos and Collard Greens is. So what, what's it all about? Okay, well, we're an off-Broadway play. We've been running for seven years. Kind of like a Romeo and Juliet or West Side Story with a Dominican woman and an African-American man and uh, tensions and old traditional views about... Chris, do you know anything about tension between Latin women and black men or... Do you know anything about that? Ain't no tension going on with me. No. I love it. No. God damn it. No. Who do you date, though, in real life? What do you mean, date? I'm open to all people. That's what I'm talking about. Put it there. Bow. Put it. Uh. No, That's what I'm talking about. I love them. I did go black. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I could go back. Cause it, it, yo, then, <laughs> I can't go back. Am I making a love connection here? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the movie's about to start, but we wanted to grab you because you look so beautiful Thank tonight. You. You're welcome. Well, uh, get that money. You know, you got a DVF dress. You can never go wrong. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris? Oh, you look, yeah, you look, you look familiar. Look, he wants to, he's Have trying I seen to be like, how do I know her? Like you've done before. Yes. You never dated Chris, did you? Because he's trying to figure nah, out what he's nah. cute, I, 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 but I don't I'll think remember. I've ever dated him. I will remember. I'm like, baby, come he, would, he, would, he better remember me if he ever dated me. But no. Um, well, I started my career off modeling okay. in the modeling industry. And my very first film I ever did was The Best Man. I was the dancer at the bachelor party. With the Indian costume. See, and she said like I got a dirty mind. I Listen, I'm like, I know. I've seen it. I know. Yeah. And, um... A lot of people remember me from Jay Z's Do It Again video and Beanie Man Two on my video because that's where Beanie I got Man, my yeah, start. Yeah, 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 my yeah. hair was totally short and cut off, but yeah, that's yeah. where I got my start to help me get comfortable in front of the camera to yeah, now yeah. transition into film. film. So. That's what's up. Girl. Everyone that I know that knows you speaks so highly of you and says you're humble, beautiful. Yeah. If you don't follow Lyris Cross on Twitter, she's like apparently you're one of the most entertaining people on there. You what? go in, right? You go <laughs> what? In. I Is do. You know what? I have a lot of fun. To. I love. Sports. Yeah. I love music and politics. I talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Everything. But now yeah. it's football season, so I'm going in. I go She's in going on in. football. She's yeah. going in. Yes, I have yes, a yes. film called Abijan, and Abijan is touring the film festival circuit right now. If you Google, put in Abijan and trailer, A-B-I-D-J-A-N, trailer, 
and you will see the trailer for my film. It's showing next. You filmed it in Africa? Yes, I, I went wow. to Africa to shoot it. Okay. And I had to do an African accent and all. So please make sure you come out and support my film. It's doing really good. I guarantee you that you will like it. I'll be doing right. It's <laughs> only the beginning. We wish you all the best. Thank Pleasure you so to meet you. You're Thank welcome. You. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Nice to meet you too. Good to meet you Thank too. Thank you. All right. Well, this is uh, Boss Lady and Chris Clark. That was yes. your first red carpet. How did that feel? Listen, it felt good. I'm about to go party with bottles. Cocaine? No, no, we don't do drugs. We don't do drugs. Wow, this is a family-friendly website, Chris. <laughs> okay, but the 14th annual Urban World Film Festival. Yes. It was cool. It, it was, was good. good. It was good. All it right, till next time. Everybody. Yeah.